Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about the two functions that is repeat function and also the fraction unit we have seen it. Now in this video, we will learn about how we can position the grid items. For example, let's say that here you are able to see six grid items. Orange, green, violet, pink, blue and brown. So these are the six grid items we are able to see. It. Now if I want, now right now the orange, so according to the grid algorithm, so these are automatically placed one after the other. So like this. So that is the reason I have given the number numbering also. Now for example, let's say that in the CSS grid, we can also position the grid item wherever we want. So that is the beauty of the CSS grid. So now we can also position wherever we want. For example, let's say that this first orange grid item is there, right? It is placed at the first. If you want, you can place it in the place of blue also. So like this, we can place it. <coughs> that is the, so the, that is nothing but, that is nothing but orange. We can position the grid item wherever we want it. How we can position that grid item? Let's try to see here. So right now we are having 1fr, 1fr, 2fr, right? So let's try to use the repeat function here. So I am using the, sorry, repeat. Three times comma 1fr. And I will remove these all the things. Yeah. So now, so these all, these all are in the equal width and height. Now what I want to do, I want to place this grid item, orange, in the place of blue. So now if you try to see if you inspect the element or anything, so if you try to do the inspect element and if you go to the here in the body and in the container, here you will be able to see an option. If you clearly observe here, you will be able to see an option that it is a grid. Okay. If you click on this grid, you will be able to see the numbers, numbering effect here. You will be able to see the numbering effect. That is nothing but one, two, three and four. So these are columns. Okay. And here you will be able to see one, two and three. So these are rows. So these are row line numbers and these are column line numbers. By using this row numbers and column numbers, we can determine the position of this grid item. So we can place where whatever the position item we want it. For example, let's say that I want to place this orange right in the place of blue. I want to place it in the place of blue. So that means so what I need to do, so the rows, the row is between two and three and the column is also line is also between two and three. Okay. So that is the main thing. So between two and three and a column two and three. So this is the position, exact position you, will, you can be able to get it. How I can mention it? So for this item, so that means this item one So in this CSS, I can write first one is grid row start. Okay. So this one grid row start. So row start is nothing but second. So here I need to mention it as two and the grid row end grid row end. So here grid row ends three. So two and three. So second row two and three. And if I try to save this one, see automatically orange has been placed in the second row, but this one is placed at the first column. Why? Because we haven't mentioned the column number. So for this column, what you need to do is so here you can do grid hyphen column hyphen start so the column start is the two and grid so this one is column not columns grid hyphen column hyphen end so end is three see now if you place orange has came to the desired location where what is the desired location we want it we got it and blue has been shifted to here why because Blue doesn't have a fixed grid where, where the grid row has to start and end. So it doesn't have a, any CSS properties. So that is the reason it is automatically the grid is giving its position. So if you want to determine the exact position means so like this you need to mention grid row start, grid row end, grid column start and grid column end. So this is how like this we can able to specify. So this is a full form. So this is the total full form of mentioning the position of this grid item. For example, let's say that if you are, there is also a, another shorthand method, so I can do like this and here I can mention something like grid hyphen row. Okay. Shorthand notation. So the same notation, we can mention it as starting line is two by three. I can mention it like this and grid column. So the same thing I can mention it like two by three. That's it. 
So now the same output, you will be able to see the same output. So this time I want to place this orange in the place of pink. Okay. So then grid row, it will be 1 by 2. So grid row is 1 and 2 in between 1 by 2. So here I can write it as 1 by 2 and it should be something around 3 by 4. So column 3 by 4. So here I can mention it as 3 by 4. See, now in the place of pink, you will be able to see the orange. So like this, using the grid row and the grid column, we can able to determine the position of the grid item. Not only like this, for example, let's say there is also another notation, so which you can mention it. So that notation is nothing but, so here I will comment out this one, this one also. Okay. So right now orange is at the first right. I want to place it in the place of violet. So here what I can do is the another type of notation is grid area. So this is a grid area. First one is the row, row start by, by column start. Okay, so first all the all the things will be row start by column start and another one is the row end by column end. So like this you need to mention. See, now I am able to see the orange at the same, same place. So row start by column start and row end by column end. So this is how we can represent using the grid area. This is somewhat might be confusing. So this is somewhat might be confusing. Why? Because the row start by column start, row end by column end. So might look be looking confusing. So that is the reason. What, what we can do is we I have most probably I will be uh, most probably I will be using this grid row by grid column only so this one is a long notation and this one is a short notation grid row grid column so instead of using this grid area we can it's better we can use it here this one so that we can understand it very easily so more often we will be using grid row grid column rather than grid area and these all row start end and like this so this is these are the different ways these are the different ways how we can position the grid items <clears throat> let's try to do another one so for example i want to make this blue at the first okay i want to make this blue at the first so blue means fifth item right so let let's go here so first means grid hyphen row so one by two okay so one by two means the first and the end is two and here grid hyphen column and you can have one by two that one also sorry that's it See, blue has became, blue has went to the first one. So this is called like this, like this we can do it. So not, not only this one, so whichever you want. So brown, I want to place it at the second place means. So brown is the sixth item, right? I can use something like grid hyphen row. So it should be row, right? One by two and grid hyphen column. Grid hyphen column. It should be something like two by three. That's it. So now you will be able to see brown here. So like this, we can use the position. There are also different ways of positioning these all the things for the grid items. So this is, this is one of the options. So now in this prop, in this one, we have seen how to position the grid items using the CSS property, different ways, grid row start, grid row end, grid column start, grid column end, or grid row, grid column, shorthand notation, or very shorthand notation that is grid area, row start by column start, and <clears throat> row end by column end. So these are the different ways how we can position the grid items. We will try to see spanning the grid items and all those things also we will try to see one by one. So hope you understood about this uh, positioning the grid items. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.